Cyberpunk 2077. Happy Wednesday, Reject Nation. I always outdate the videos by saying things like that at the <laughs> top. We're gonna watch two Cyberpunk videos today. We're gonna watch the official gameplay trailer, the official Johnny Silverhand trailer, who I believe is Keanu Reeves' character. Hence, The Matrix was a documentary shirt. We'll start with the Keanu Reeves one. future Ted is a badass. We'll talk about it a little bit after the next trailer, but damn, that was crazy. <laughs> damn, that was crazy. Yeah, let's move on to the gameplay. We'll talk a little bit about that one. At CD Project Red, we dedicate ourselves to telling immersive stories. Yet with every new project, we set out to make our games bigger, more complex, deeply engaging. Come on, D. Let's get you on. Cyberpunk 2077 marries exploration of a vast open world wow. of kinetic combat, story-changing player choices, and robust character development, all to bring you into our vision of the dark future. You ever feel like a city doesn't give you a choice? You either burn alive never existed at all. <laughs> the year is 2077. An economic crisis culminating in nuclear conflict has left America in pieces. <laughs> With most of the continent degenerating into lawless war zones, people from all over have converged on the already overcrowded Night City, one of the world's last great megalopolises. A hub amassing the best in resources and like straight out of and Robocop. <laughs> yeah. Manufacturers of cutting edge technologies, Night City continues to offer the promise of a civilized future. What? No, no. This isn't happening. Oh, but it is. But in the city streets, a merciless struggle for power rages. Gangs, corporate agents, hustlers, religious cultists. Politicians and all manner of criminals strive to outplay one another. Ordinary <laughs> people get caught in the crossfire. Looking for justice in Night City. I seek revenge. Much more feasible here. <laughs> in this world, consumed by never ending conflict, sometimes only an outsider will get the job done. Elizabeth tells me you have answers for us. I'm all ears. And that's you, an urban mercenary, a cyber-enhanced gun for hire. We seem to understand each other. Take this, too. As a mercenary, you swear no allegiance. You've chosen the outlaw life, and trust that your abilities will carry you up Night City's ruthless, underground social ladder. Heart of Night City! That's it right there. To thrive as a merc, you need the right combination of gear, skills, and reputation. Dex had wow. a lot to say about you. I hope he wasn't overselling. With the money you earn, you can turn Gosh. yourself into a living weapon. 
Find guns and enhancements in the hunter. Oh! <laughs> 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 you gain the experience you need to upgrade abilities and acquire perks. Combine the right skills and gear to create a gunslinger with inhuman reflexes. A stealthy netrunner with command of all surrounding tech. Minority report. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> hey. Cyberpunk 2077, you steal a prototype biochip that can set you up for life. You filthy rich. When a sealed container is ruptured, the only way to prevent the biochip from failing is to slot it into your head. Oh no! The digitized soul of Johnny Silverhand. Oh no. That's how it all ties in. Okay. That's crazy. Whoa, that is crazy. Aims to bring down the megacorp that made the chip. Do whatever it takes to stop, defeat a gutter. What is in your head can shift the balance of power in Night City. Yo. The high will do anything Yo. to get their hands on it. Yo. <laughs> Told you I'd end you someday. The choices you make will shape your story. And determine how events unfold. V, you gotta take him down. That's why we're here. But not everything in Night City is a matter of life and death. Sometimes it's about style, choosing your look. You're right. Your pastime. Dope. Who's at your side? A dope. Choosing how you spend your dirty money. Ooh, ooh, lady. <laughs> oh. Ah. Oh. Hardcore Henry. Welcome to the next generation of open world adventure. Immerse yourself in Cyberpunk 2077. Ghost Rider. <laughs> <laughs> that, that looks like the coolest thing ever. <laughs> All right, John, take it away. That looks freaking awesome. I mean, that looks like the perfect combination of video game fantasy meets like every sci-fi movie you've ever wanted to live inside. I mean, you pointed out Minority Report. There's obviously like Blade Runner stuff. There were moments I was flashing in the desert to like Terminator where you're blowing up endoskeletons and whatnot and yeah i mean as the promise of an action adventure game with also this huge open world capability customization like you can get your sims kick your grand theft auto kick and yeah just all that fantasy sci-fi action you want and it's awesome to know that keanu reeves isn't just like an easter egg or a fun little bit character he's actually like a part of the driving force of the yeah. game so that's a neat thing to have revealed to us keanu reeves feels like so many of all of his characters Yes. <laughs> just melded into one. You got some Johnny Mnemonic in here. Mm -hmm. You got some, obviously, a little bit of Neo just because of cyberpunk world, right? Yeah, John Wick you, you and got John Ted. Wick. You got Ted from his, he's a, he, he's a musician yeah. <laughs> as well. Um, yeah, so like having this hybrid of all of them, but he's also the super aggressive Keanu Reeves. Like when he's yelling at those two women in <laughs> Knock Knock, he's that version of Keanu oh, Reeves. God. He's very aggressive, and I'm excited for his character because I feel like he can be really really fun, but also perhaps a little bit scary at times or a little bit intimidating. I mean, there's no better time for a dystopian game to participate in. We got The Last of Us 2 earlier this year. Now we're getting Cyberpunk 2077 and two different sides of a dystopian future. One looks a little bit more appealing than the other to live in, you know, because you at least get all this cool technology to immerse yourself in. But this also dealing with environmental and economic conditions. It feels very relevant to the time right now. I mean, the world of a cyberpunk is not exactly brand new. Like, this looks like a melding of a whole bunch of movies and anime and everything. In terms of relevancy, it really dawned on me watching this one. This looks like it's pretty relevant. And also the other thing I'll give it too is it looks very intense. Looks grippingly, like I, I feel like there's gonna be some high stakes missions where I'm just gonna be not only having fun, but on the edge of my seat from pulse pounding story development. Weirdly, that hasn't been the thing I've associated with cyberpunk. And this time it gave me that where I thought the trailer did a great job setting up the world, setting up the character, the main character you'll be playing as, even though it's open world, it'll be the main character you'll be playing as, but also all the odds and, and everything that are stacked against you in this game and how bonkers it'll be, you know? So I think that, uh, I think this is gonna be a, a game, a 
a game a where we will be demanding a sequel right when it comes out. 2078! Yeah, let's get it going, guys. And I just think it would be so funny that if this game comes out and it's just crap, that it comes out and everyone <laughs> hates it, worry. and they're like, damn, what a disappointment damn. this game was. There's a short storyline, there's glitches everywhere, the world doesn't the have graphics are nowhere variety. near as good as we thought they yeah. would be. It's boring. Yeah, I would just think it's so funny if that's what happens when it comes out. Seriously. <laughs> because like you get so many options with this story and the open world and the amount of different like the the emotional investment I imagine you can just immerse yourself with for this game for months on end. It's like Outlaw Sims it would be in funny. the future. It would be funny. All right, guys. Well, leave your thoughts down below. Cyberpunk 2077. Hit that like button if you enjoyed our video. Subscribe. Last but not least. Speaking of pandemics, Pandemic Jones, yes. PJ, what's going on, dude? PJ, I know these days you have a good amount of time on your hands for the evening to enjoy yourself. So I hope you get a time to be all Pandemic Jones-like by indulging yourself in something that is a more enjoyable, not really a pandemic, but probably the resulting effect of something. Like, Sp you know where I'm your going joy with this. Around. Spread some love pandemic style or, you know, encouragement, creativity. And, you know, with your name being Jones, mm. it just has me think of this whenever I get to message you. <laughs> I can't say it with my left hand. But it's not unusual to be loved by anyone. That's you, buddy. I love loving you and I love being loved by you. And I work more off of that feeling than I do for the feeling given to you. What's new, pussycat? Whoa, whoa, whoa.